Hi everyone, Dolly here with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. So I wanted to come on really quick to do a project share. I wanted to share with you a few things that I just finished up and I'm ready to send off to its new home. And as I mentioned to you guys in another video, I'm trying to be better about videoing the uh, items that I create before sending them off so at least I have a memory of what I made um, and also so I could share it with you guys so uh, let's go ahead and get started you guys this project is a, a few items that I created for my friend Alicia uh, she has Instagram she's uh, at Stowbaker and Alicia and I met through Instagram and we love the very same things. She, well, almost everything the same. She is a lover of coastal, beach, mermaids, and um, everything she creates, I absolutely adore and I absolutely love. So when I'm creating for Alicia, I have so much fun because not only do I love what I'm creating and I, I'm really passionate or interested in making it, it's so much easier to put together because, uh, again, it's something that I, I love and I, I'm hoping she will too. So I created a um, pocket letter for her as well as an envelope flip book or envelope photo album. So I wanted to start with a pocket letter that I created for her and I decided to, of course, do a pocket letter in an ocean and sea beach theme and this is what I came up with. Um, I wanted to put as many elements on this as I could because when Alicia makes a pocket letter, boy does she make a pocket letter. And um, I have to admit, I get a little, little intimidated because Alicia is so talented and if you've ever seen any of the pocket letter or flip books that she has sent to me, you will be in awe, just like I am always in awe when I receive anything from her. So anyway, um, I decided to create this pocket letter and I wanted to uh, show you guys really quickly what I've made in each pocket. So before I start showing you each of the pocket, I wanted to show you that I have taken the trim of gold leaves, which I know a lot of you guys find at your local Dollar Tree, um, in which case I found these at my 99 cent store. Uh, they also have them at Hobby Lobby. So that is what I used. I just used the hot glue gun and I glued the leaves all along the um, edges of this pocket letter. And I liked how it came out. Um, so the first pocket, I decided to do a mermaid because Alicia also loves mermaids. And it says mermaid kisses. And then I've added a gold uh, die cut, which is of a star, uh, sorry, not a starfish, a seahorse. And this is pretty layered, but I love how it came out because I basically used the same paper background for all of the pockets so that they would blend. Uh, the next pocket is just one that I think she might enjoy because she is a beach lover and I know Alicia, she loves being at the beach and this right here is a beach chair with some sand and slippers and then I added some mini uh, shells which are real shells and I've just cut this out using my, um, my not a die but a punch and um, I like the background of this because it looks like sundown and it says down by the shore and then I've also taken this piece right here which is a uh, die cut or a, a chipboard die that um, I got from an ocean paper pack that I had. Um, this one right here came from a bow bunny pack and it says the beautiful. And all I've done is I have a die of an octopus that I um, also uh, die cutted. Is that how you say it? Yeah, that I cut out. And I've added some eyelash trim to the back of that, but again, the paper that I used is from the same paper pad. So the second row, is a sailboat and it just says sunshine and seashells and there's a real shell right here that i've added um wave sun and this sticker of a sailboat that came from another beach pad that i had and i love this because it just looks like it's sailing in the water or in the ocean with the blue background now this right here is a um 
a die cut that I played around with. I had cut out two pieces and stuck them back to back, but before I did that, I inserted some sequence pieces that were of shells and other really pretty oceany colors. I've also taken this uh, die cut of this seahorse in silver and I've um, stuck that on to this window that looks like uh, mermaid scales and I love how the gold and the silver go together. I thought that came out really nicely and you can also take this out and shake it because basically it's a shaker. All right so the next one is very simple. It just says relax. That's a chipboard sticker and I've cut out some mini uh, starfishes and um, stuck those on and then there's an, a gold anchor behind it with the same paper and this paper is really pretty because it actually looks like uh, seaweed or coral um, or sea life underneath the ocean and so for the very last row uh, this right here looks like coral it's a die cut actually it was a sticker from a c-pack that i had and it just says escape and what i've done is i've taken some eyelash trim um, to give it like a seaweed effect and i've also stuck that behind this piece with some flat back pearls and this row right here i've taken some sequence pieces that were actually gifted to me by um uh, Crystal, who is with Cruising with Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. She had given me a mini embellishment box and these were inside and so they worked out perfectly in this pocket letter. And then these are also just stickers that I've applied um, to some cardstock and cut that out to kind of give it uh, a border. And then I've added some blue eyelash trim and used the same paper background, which looks like an underwater seascape. And I thought that went really nicely together. The last pocket says explore and this is also a sticker. It's a crab. I've also taken this piece. I've cut it out and um, I've taken the sticker. I've added it to a um, not a chipboard but a cardstock piece. I've cut that out and I've attached that not to the inside of the pocket but to the outside of the pocket and I thought that went really well. So that is my pocket letter. And let me just uh, show you guys one more time how it turned out. And then for the back, I really didn't decorate the back. What I did with the back is I've added envelopes using the same paper pad with all of the kind of beachy sea themed uh, designs. And I've created little mini envelopes. And let me go ahead and pull these out. So I'm not going to take out what's inside each of these envelopes, but basically there is something in each of these envelopes that she can pull out and she can use for her crafting. And I've done nine of those for one for each of the pockets and filled all of those envelopes with a little something for Alicia. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay that here so that you can look at it. The next piece that I have created for her is this mini album. And so what this is, is an envelope mini album. And um, I used um, a, one of my favorite paper pads. It's a mini paper pad by Bow Bunny and I forget the name of it, but for those of you who love Bow Bunny paper, I'm sure you will recognize this. So um, this paper pad is or was in a C and beach theme and I love every single piece of paper that is included in that pad. Um, I did use this Bow Bunny sticker as well, and this is a chipboard sticker. I decided to make it the cover, um, and I thought it went well with it. So uh, you guys, all I've done is taken some string here and tied these together. What these are, are envelopes. And all I've done is I've used some of the brown, I forget what you call this paper, this plain paper, and I've taken um, pieces of that bow bunny pad and lined each one of the envelopes so that I have a finished look and so let me go ahead and show you the first pocket basically this is not fully embellished only because it's a photo album so I wanted to use the paper and not cover it with a 
uh, photo mat I wanted her to be able to stick her photos directly on this so um, obviously she's not going to be able to stick a photo right here but she can open this up and a photo can go right here and a photo can go right here and then she can insert memorabilia in there or more photos if she wanted to so the next page consists of a pocket and some tags and these tags can also be used for as photo mats and uh, to add photos this right here is another um, envelope you can add a photo here and here and then stick your memorabilia in here a photo can also go right here and basically all of the pages are the same with different uh, decorated paper or different design paper from the same bow bunny pad and here are some more tags that go right into this pocket again photo mats and a place to insert your memorabilia and then more tags to insert or apply photos to or stick photos to and then more of the uh, photo mats you can stick one here 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 and then insert your memorabilia into the pocket and this would be the last page of this oops nope I lied here's one more page so more of the tags to add your photos to and the last uh, photo mat pocket which you can do a photo here here and here and insert memorabilia in there and that is it so that is my um pocket photo album no let's try that again envelope photo flip album you guys i'm just creating as i go making up my own name sorry about that all right so with that, I decided to share some of my sea-themed paper with Alicia. And you guys, I'm really having fun making these paper packs or these little paper boxes um, when I can share six by six paper. And these pages came from a 12 by 12, which I had plenty of that I wanted to share with her. And um, it looks like my um, tape is not sticking, so I'm going to have to glue that. But what it is is just a band to close this together. So that's what I had on there. So if you open this up, first of all, I, I made this. Um, I'm having a lot of fun making these little cases for the paper that I share. It just says, make a wish on a starfish, and I know Alicia can appreciate that. And so what I have done is I have shared some paper with her and also some postcards from that paper pad. So um, a lot of these are cut apart, so which if she did not want to use these as postcards, she can cut these apart. Now these are the postcards and she can use these um, in her beach projects. And I hope she likes these. So let me go ahead and put these back in the order. That's so cute. It says beach, please. And that just reminds me of Alicia so much because she just loves the beach. All right. So those are the postcards. Let me show you guys the paper that I'll be sharing with Alicia. And there's quite a few um, beach themed uh, designs. And this almost looks like a Hawaiian themed design, but it says Beach Cutie, and that's what she is. And look at that, isn't that so pretty? Love that wood. And then this one kind of looks tropical. And then that one with the trees, I love just the blues, really pretty. And then some stripes. We've got some um, distressed wood looking pieces. I love the ones with the golds. Again, these look tribal almost and just a lot of really pretty beach themed. Look at that, that is really pretty. So I hope that Alicia will enjoy uh, these six by six pieces and I hope that she can create with them. Um, I'm pretty sure she can, but um, I hope that she will be able to use them in her projects. So these just slide really nicely into this case. Uh, and then it just closes up and then I just have to reseal this. Um, well, maybe it stuck back on earlier. It fell apart because, oops, there it is. Because I didn't stick it on too well. I just used a tape, but it looks like I have to glue this on. So that is how this is gonna close. I've also um, included a few extra goodies for her, which um, I'm not gonna open up, but I do wanna show you how I packaged it up. Um, there are some stickers uh, in here and I believe there is also um, 
some stamps, some rubber stamps by Inka Dinka Do. Is that how you say it? <laughs> um, that are in the sea and mermaid theme that I think she might like, but there are several stickers in there as well. I thought that she would like this. I, this is one of my very favorite Dollar Tree stickers that looks like the metal and it's in the ocean theme. She probably already has this, but it never hurts. And I made a topper for this that says better in flip flops. And then, um, last but not least, I've also included a book for her. Now, um, I've written her a note here saying, she, you know, if she doesn't have time to read the book or she doesn't want to read the book, she can use it as um, a junk journal. She can definitely take it apart and make a mini junk journal. Uh, the reason why I decided to share this with her is because when I saw the title, which is All at Sea, it reminded me of Alicia. So I thought All at Sea would be a great title for a junk journal. And I also read um, bits and pieces of the book and it looks like it might be an interesting book. It's a memoir and I think she might like it. So, um, you know, her choice, whatever she wants to do with the book, she can do. So you guys, sorry to rush through this. I know this video is long enough, but um, I did want to share this with you before I send it off to Alicia. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this project share and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks so much for stopping by and thanks so much for your support. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.